little black boy. Little black boy, I heard you flunked your test today. And though you're only in the third grade, the prison system just set aside for you a place. We'll see you in 10. Don't worry about graduation. That's not a prerequisite to join us. Only your matriculation through the suspected hit licks and street fights, the domestic disturbances and displays of your inherent violence. You don't even have to bring shoes and clothes. We'll provide you with those. They'll come with a customized number on them just for you. Concerned about life when you get out? Well, we've even gotten that all figured out. We'll stamp convict on your record as if it were DNA, making it so difficult for you to find decent work that you return to the same block repeating the same actions that landed you here in the first place. We'd hate to see you go for good. The doors of the prison are always open. Hey, little black boy. Little black boy, I heard you flunked to a test today. But how could you grasp that common core math when the all too common denominator was missing? Your dad wasn't there to help with your homework and neither was your mother, but she was out working the late shift trying to provide for you and the others. Mama couldn't afford a tutor or babysitter, so she settles for the first willing volunteer, her brother, who doesn't want his nephews to grow up without a male figure like he did, so he willingly volunteers. Ulterior motives follow him in, along with the suitcase suitcase full of baggage and tricks and a screwed up definition of babysit. He says, come here baby, sit on my lap, I'll teach you a lesson while the others take their naps. The one-to-one -one ratio is optimal for grasping new concepts, so come here right now, I'm in charge. But don't worry, I won't hurt you. Even if I do, no one will know. These scars will be invisible, so don't you tell a soul. Lesson number one, I'll teach you geometry the way my mama's boyfriend taught me. Would you stand perpendicular to the floor while I take my confusion and frustrations out on you? 90 degrees at your wrist, form a triangle with the other, curve the straight line of your spine, and remember to never tell your mother. Mental confusion, cerebral contusion, particularly in the frontal where you would normally be able to process what just proceeded to take place. Problem is, your mind's too small to wrap itself completely around the complexity of this convoluted situation. Now, femininity is the only example of familial adulthood you see, further severing the ties between you and your blood-born masculinity. Boys with no examples of how to become men still have to grow up and become men, often with tendencies to flirt with the justice system that was never meant to support. And though this strange systematic tree seems sturdy and rightly rooted to some, we are aware of its intertwined limbs of liberty with limitations, freedom with fallacy, justice juxtaposed with unjust juries. Strange trees produce strange fruit. And don't believe the reflection the monstrous media casts of you. Its mirrors are shattered, and in its attempts to gather the scattered pieces of who you truly are, your greatness cuts too deep, so it vies for the easy to handle shallow fragments. It's inaccurate, disproportionate depiction of you, sir, coming from their sideways, side views, should read, objects in mirror are far greater than they appear. But that'd be too much like right, right? So you mustn't believe what you see, for blessed are they that believe without seeing. You must believe. Believe that you are greater than every stereotype, greater than every preconceived notion that caused that lady to clutch her purse tighter when you sat down beside her. You are far greater than every single negative slur hurled at you. You are not dumb, lazy, ignorant, belligerent, overly aggressive, oppressive, demeaning, or worthless. You are worth more than what meets the eye. You have fathered nations and have built countries on your backs. Your son kissed skin has taken many licks and has borne many stripes, but wounds do heal if you let them. The salve of salvation can speed up the process from the inside out. Your suffering is by no means foreign to him. With your permission, allow the great carpenter's calloused hands to mold your calloused heart. Don't let this cold world turn your heart to stone. Let Christ set you free. Please don't be deterred by American Christianity. He's not the white man's God. You two met long before slavery. Ask Tertullian, ask, ask, ask the nations, ask Augustine, ask Clement, ask Miriam how God feels about your black skin when she mocked Moses for marrying a Cushite. So I beg you to allow him to unloose the noose to take those ties that bind and unwind one generational curse at a time. Black man, it is time, past time for you to see yourself the way the father sees you. 
You are more like him than you realize. You were made in his image. So from this day, reflect God. Thank <laughs> you.